I thought we could thumb together through the BUDK catalog. On the cover, they're featuring a nine dollar knife, usually nineteen ninety nine, officially licensed U.S. Marine Corps knife. It doesn't say it's full tang. Maybe we'll find some more information inside. Uh, here's something interesting. Uh, we jumped on the wagon of of the uh, fish antibiotics. Antibiotics save lives, okay? So they're selling penicillin, amoxicillin, and uh, cephalexin. Okay, now, uh, I talked to my pharmacist about this, and his first remark was, a good way to kill your liver. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, I want to do this unless I had a lot more information. And that might be uh, that I was a pharmacist or, or a, had a registered nurse or someone. But evidently, you take the wrong thing for the wrong thing. You take the wrong medicine for the wrong type of infection or something, you can make it worse and just harm yourself. You take too much, you can cause damage. Uh, you uh, take too little, you end up making the bacteria, I mean, the whatever's in you stronger. Uh, this says right here, not for human use, 30 count. Uh, so that's the way they protect themselves, but basically they're selling it for, pe you know, these people who are afraid that, that they won't be able to have antibiotics, you know, the world's going to fall apart, so they buy some and stock their own, but I would think you'd have to know an awful lot about medicine to make sure that you were giving yourself the right one, the right dosages, everything. Uh, extra loud poppers, water storage, waterproof storage container for your ammo, fighting sticks. Oh, here's a tool bright. I don't know if this is the same brand I have, but these things are really neat. This one's six ninety nine. They have uh, material in them that, uh, especially if you hit it with UV light, ultraviolet light, which I would suggest you have an ultraviolet light flashlight, you hit it with that, you know, and this thing will glow for hours and hours. It's a much better material. It's probably the same type of material as in glow-in-the-dark toys, but it's the material itself rather than it being mixed in with plastic. So what you've got here is a clear uh, tube of plastic material with these granules uh, embedded in it. And so those work pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to go turn in your weapons, the Indians. That worked out well for them. Ah, a watch. I need a new watch. $19.99. Uh, let's see. Here's a Wahoo Killer a Fisherman Special. This looks suspiciously like a Mora knife. A Mora. See, $1.99. It's not shaped like a fillet knife either. 4 inch AUS stainless steel blade. Mm. Uh, here's Backyard Medicine. I have that book. That's quite good. Complete, the Complete Guide to Edible Wild Plants. That's just basically a section of the Army Survival Manual that they printed out. Oh, here's the kit of these glow-in-the-dark things. You end up getting a tube, a donut, and a bag. Now, the thing about the bag is it's a larger surface, but I'll tell you the bag I had, and again, I'm not sure if it's the same a product name uh, after using it a while all these granules uh, became unattached from the bag and fell to the bottom so you didn't have the the big surface area anymore so uh, I guess you're getting four things here but 1999 uh, like I say these things are I think they're pretty good uh, the skull rings I'm not into that. I have no fascination with things with skulls on them it kind of just says to me, culture of death. Uh, knives with things printed on them. Vietnam, they've got Christmas knives even. And you get things to stab people with. 
you get the army, the axe, gets this job done for $13.99. Hmm. Again, we get different knives and we get a walking stick that has a kind of a thing to poke people with. Probably illegal to carry in most places. Uh, here's a water filter so that you can, uh, built by the Life Straw, Life Straw technology. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it's a sort of pump thing. You pump, you force water through it. Folding knives. You know, when things are this least little, this, this, here's a knife that costs something, but when knives cost a little, uh, sometimes they're of low quality, you know? Big surprise. Learn how to pick locks like a pro. This has a transparent lock so you can get the idea of how you're moving the tumblers and things. The wire survival store, saw for three ninety nine. dollars Oh, and here's one thing I wanted to show you. Here's the tool that I have in my, my wallet, $1.99. These go for anywhere from, uh, I've seen them as low as 99 cents up to $20. And all it is is a hunk of stainless steel. But I find that this edge makes an excellent fire striker for your ferrocerium rod. So, oh, and they get a little video about it. I'll have to watch that video. But So here's a place you can get this for only $1.99. And uh, I wouldn't pay more than that. Here's a product I've got, and I've, I'll do a. I'm going to do an action video of it sometime. I believe it's the same product, but it's a um, hand chainsaw, uh, 82 steel teeth, four one half inch teeth per inch. Now, uh, mine only saws one way, and the, I'm not sure if this one does or not. I'd have to try it. And then we get uh, nine hour candles. Oh, we got some binoculars for $89. Laser binoculars. I wonder what that means. Looks like it has a light on it. Uh, a whistle. Uh, whistles, survival whistles should be wait, at least over 90 decibels. So this one doesn't tell you what decibels it is, but if it isn't 90 at least, there's not much sense buying it for survival purposes. Here's a Speedy Stitcher sewing all, $16.99. That seems to be a tool. Uh, I've heard of that one before. That could be very useful. You'll see every once in a while they'll have these knives that are more like 90. They're probably a lot more rugged. Oh. Uh, Sticks to beat people up with, fake cameras, uh, folding knives. The trouble with some of the inexpensive folding knives can be is how strong their locks are. Now these locks may be actually quite strong. Crossbow, a sword. My desire to have a sword is zero. Uh, uh, here's some uh, uh, weatherproof, stormproof matches that are in a little plastic case and it's got a striker on the side. That's not a bad idea for $4.99. I'm editorializing a lot. I would like to see one of these in action, really. This is a uh, more automated lock picking tool that you just pull this, pull this handle and it's in the lock and supposedly it rakes all the tumblers uh, so you can do something really quick, but I don't know. I know someone that's married to a locksmith and says uh, picking quality locks is an awful lot harder than it appears. You know, on TV they they'll take practically anything, even a bobby pin, and pick a lock. Well, it usually isn't that easy. It can be sometimes, but it usually isn't. Fake cameras. Oh, here uh, here's a paperweight, but. That would probably that I know these are illegal to have in Maine. Brass knuckles. Uh, here's a very inexpensive survival tool, nine ninety nine. It's all plastic. Uh, oh, it's got a fire striker. 
No, wait a second. Goose compass, thermometer, hydrometer, mirror, split level, flint component. Yeah, okay, fire starter, whistle magnifier, ruler, and LED lights. Uses two CR1220 uh, lithium batteries. That might be interesting to just look at. Ah, mosquito head net. Uh, self defense keychain again, probably that would be illegal in Maine as well. Authentic Japanese water stone for $12.99. Automatic fishing yo yo, that would be good for survival, but again, uh, you can't use that normally. Five day survival backpack. You have to research what's actually in that online to find out what you thought. Uh, this is interesting here, these little little firecrackers. Uh, I've gotten some of these just from the firecracker store and they pull them and they make quite a bang. So the idea is uh, at least some people are promoting these for trip lines. Well, you're gonna really have to trip on them or have some device to trigger them because it takes quite a bit of energy to pull them apart. So uh, chances are if someone's walking along, they're gonna feel the trip line before the thing's actually pulled and they could stop. But I suppose an animal isn't gonna do that. Here's this Lansky Blade Medic. Lansky, this tends to be a really good brand. So this is normally 16, 1099. This might be a good tool. I'm not that familiar with it. I'm trying to learn how to sharpen knives with a whetstone, which I haven't perfected. Here's a bunch of knives with uh, printing on them. Uh, here's, I don't know, junk stuff. Stuff, stuff. Now we're going to go through faster because I'm getting tired of looking at it. Uh, flashlights with. Uh, Stun guns built in, or tasers built in, whatever you want to say. Wonder how often those go off by mistake. <laughs> uh, more illegal brass knuckles for Maine, at least. Arrowheads, lock picks. Uh, oh, is this a rock hammer? No, chisel. Yeah, this rock hammer is a real deal. Only $19.99. That would be good if that's really hardened steel. Uh, that's good enough for a rock hammer because uh, rock hammers are quite expensive and you can't use any type of hammer that you like find at the hardware store even if it's shaped the same it's just not going to be hard enough and it's just going to break and chisel uh, and it's you know it could be dangerous because fragments of it might get into you yeah all kinds of these supposedly defense knives pocket match. Oh, throw me star, yeah. That's a good way to cut yourself, I think. Oh. You've never seen a light stick like this. Here's a light stick that's 15 inches long. There you go. $2.99. That's not bad. Uh, the last bandage you'll ever need. Israeli bandages, those are supposed to be good. Here's a little kit, a surgical kit. I have something similar to that, and I use it for everything but surgery. <laughs> I'm not interested in cutting into human flesh, but I use it for hobby purposes and things. Throwing knives, coins from around the world. Oh, stink bombs. Supposedly this stuff uh, it smells really bad, then it disappears, dissipates quickly. So the gag is there and then it's gone. Uh, here's something interesting. Here are some uh, 12 gauge uh, rounds, but they, uh, this like wiring comes out of them and the sole purpose of them are to bring down drones. So you see a drone overhead, you shoot this thing up, the wires come up out of it, tangle up in the blades of the drone, and down the drone comes. Uh, more lock picking stuff. More knives. Oh, 
never pay for TV again. Here's a, uh, a, is it a, yeah, it's a digital antenna, I believe, and it can be outdoors. Uh, I'd have to read and how, see how big that cable is with it. That would be important. The Life Straw, these are very good. $19.99 or three for 18 each. Uh, this is interesting here. Uh, this Chinese wax wood is supposed to be one of the stronger woods. So they sell a six foot long or four foot long. The six foot long is 20. The four foot long is 499. So this would make a good walk, uh, good thing to make a walking stick with. They don't give the weight, so I mean that's one thing to consider if it's if you're going to use it primarily for a walking stick. Uh, how heavy is it to carry around with you? Another flashlight, uh, stun gun combination, and uh, some other things. So there you go. The BD. K catalog and they're out of uh, Georgia some interesting things I didn't see something about that knife but maybe I can go online and see if that's full tang or not I mean to me if you're gonna have a knife other than a Mora knife. Mora knives aren't full tang but that doesn't seem to be a problem they're made so well but if you're gonna buy one of these uh, bigger knives, especially if it's inexpensive, you want to make sure it's not just attached right here by a screw or something. Like these, you see these huge uh, survival knives like they have uh, in different places. They sell for different places, sometimes as low as eight bucks. And they've got a screw right here. So basically, if you try to do something heavy duty with it, it's going to come apart. So you want to have a full tang, which means the metal extends all the way to the butt okay that's what full tang means that it's one piece of metal all the way and then that reduces the chances of it, it coming apart or breaking at this point still of course you you know someone was pointing out and it's very true uh, any knife can be broken any knife can be mishandled and you know your knife isn't an axe it isn't a pry bar so if you use it for all those things, you've got to expect that some knives are going to break. I mean, especially, you know, and I'm talking, when I say that, I'm talking $200 knives, not $9.99 knives. But, uh, so there you go anyway. There's a perusal through this catalog anyway. Mike Kennedy saying be safe. God bless.